back to the channel, it's me, Engineer Hall. Today we're gonna do a video on Hunter Line Weather Mix. I'm inspired by HO Scale Steel Mill Modeling to do this project. So the car I'm gonna use today is this Walters Mainline Gondola. Using Hunter Line Weather Mix, we got the Creosol Black. We have the Dark Brown. And we have Thai Brown. And we have this medium brown. Also, colors I do have is this cottage white. And for the sticks, we're gonna use these guys right here. Did a Walmart run about two o'clock in the morning on the tenth. Got three of these to put the whole store out. So we wanna get a tie load for this car, and we'll just go through the process and see what happens. All right, got the packet open here. This holds over about 500 mini wood sticks. It's kind of like the size of HO scale ties. So, throw a couple up in here. So, we're going to start using the Creosol Black. They say give it a nice little shake before using it. So I plan to reuse this. I'm gonna put this back in the bottle. Also, you get this from a Yankee Dabbler. Used by Keep On Co. Engineer Hall. 5% off in your purchase. Use it anytime. Holidays, no holidays. So here we go. Then I was done the whole bottle. Man. I gotta be careful. <laughs> Don't spill nothing. So let me get those some more sticks in there. Oh, this is a lot. Okay. Some more in there. Give me a little brush here. To work the stuff in. So we got all smashed in there. And we will let it sit for a while. So the next color up is this tie brown. All right, folks, now we're moving on to the Indian Yankee mix now, which I got is here. So what I did was went with two teaspoons of the ink with 70% isopropyl alcohol in a 16 ounce bottle. So we're gonna see how that come out. Now we got the car out and then we got a test fit these inside the car. They can go in like this, no problem laying down, but nah, don't wanna do it like that, can put a little work in. So we do have to cut these down to size. While we wait, let's start doing this a little weather on the cars. So I'll take the trucks off. I'm gonna keep these knuckles that come with the car, with the couplers, because these are metal. Of course, got my tool here to spread these axles off the trucks or the wheels off the trucks. Get in here, squeeze, the wheel fall out, fall out, all right, good. Now for the wheels, I'm gonna use the tidy track steel rail color, the base.
Here I got my pan pastels out. And here we are, I laid the base coat. You see that there. On the trucks here. Then I, I really don't want it too dirty, so I'm hit this brownish color here. And just uh, rub it on there. See that? Just rub it on me, a little, little dusty, a little rusty. Not too crazy. Come a little dark a little bit. Hit the dark just a little bit. And the same brush. Hop in this orange, bright orange, and dab on the springs a little bit. Like really get in the spring, dab it on there. Right, but don't smudge it. Just dab it in there. And just go out the excess. And that's you know, the basis of getting a truck. Paint it up. That's how I do mine. They don't like the way it is, just keep on adding some more pan pastels to it. Now we got the ending ink, shook it up here. Get this brush in. And then what that is part. So here's some end results of me doing a little wash with the Indian ink and also I did an Indian ink and a Winston Newton uh, color here. I think it's per umber. I don't remember. And I did a wash on top of that. So this has the two wash. This side has the one wash. You can tell um, the difference is more like a darker grayish color or dark gray black. This is more like a light, like a lighter brown. You can see the little streaks in there. Focus. And this part. There you go. Pretty full as you can see it. And there you go. This is Indian ink only. Put this inside. Did a little winds and nooses work in there and a little weather and powders in there. So let's get the trucks back on and get the little side stuff for the car. Alright, so exactly three hours of soaking. This is we get. The ruler out, make sure I got on the right scale and measured the inside of the car to get a nice fit for this particular car. So what I'm gonna do is try to do it like this. Let's see. So I want a little room, non be a little tight, not feet there. So I might have to come cut this a slight bit smaller to get in the car to slide up and down freely instead of being real tight in there. So my fingers are dirty from the weathering. So this piece of wood is cut to that length. These are uh, sticks and hundred line products. Looks pretty good. Look at that. The wood is a color differently and it's no uniform, but I did have to use up the chopper to get everything cut at the same length and it went out there pretty good. So, let's say, game I'm playing here. Anyway, I got more to come. Everything turned out looking very good. And we'll get back making these loads.
here's the final result when using the hunter line weathering mix hopefully you guys was inspired to build some loads or get back into the hobby by the way these are missing something i'm waiting for justin to come out with that machine that can put on top of these loads.